Hello there everyone and welcome to another fluffy video. We're going to take a break now from Guild Wars 2 craziness and have a look at this Steam big picture feature which is a beta feature of Steam. It is only available to those people who are opted in to Steam beta and you can do that very quickly by just going to your settings and it's on the very first tab beta participation you just want to make sure that that is set to Steam beta update and uh, all you need to do then is restart your client and then yeah you will have Steam beta up and running and you'll see this big picture thing in the top corner so let's have a look at what that's all about very flashy kind of intro and here we are we're in the land of Steam big picture which is sort of a bit like if you've ever used Windows Media um, Library or Viewer Media Viewer I think it I think it is or perhaps more more kind of in the gaming frame of mind it's a lot like Xbox Live kind of so yeah you've got different sort of categories here nice flashy kind of UI settings you can quickly exit it little beta logo uh, and so yeah if we go into the first one here which is the store you can see you've got all the different games that are available in the store which are being promoted there uh, and different categories here for instance you can look you can browse by top seller quickly open that and you'll get all the top seller games the prices the dates uh, all the information about the games are available so if we quickly have a look at for instance borderlands 2 we get a little trailer window screenshots um, description, uh, you know, a little blurb about it, and then an option to go to a full description, um, details, and then community information. So you can see who wants it, um, groups, all that kinds of stuff. It's all very nice. Hit escape, and we're back to the kind of main games section. You can have a look at um, specials. You'll see all the different games that are on offer. Indie pack, details, again it all works the same, organised however you want so you can find all the different games that you're interested in in here and buy them. And then the library kind of works the same, so it's just your games, you know, so you can see all the stats to do with the games that you own, achievements, uh, links and more, so you've got groups etc, downloadable content. And then the community part is your friends and you can see kind of information you can chat with them you can view their profile viewing their profile goes into the browser component of this uh, steam big picture which kind of opens up what their steam profile looks like in steam normal steam <laughs> uh, so you can see all the useful information there quickly kind of go back and we're back again so yeah you get a friends UI here so you can basically open up chat with different people, you can access groups that you're in, all that sorts of stuff. And yeah, that's kind of how this works. Just a flashy version of Steam. And you know, it's nice, I like it. Um, I don't think it's particularly something that I'm going to use because I just, you know, I, I would just find it easier using normal Steam because that's what I'm used to. But if you're someone who likes this kind of thing, the option is there. It's compatible with the Xbox controller, so you can kind of get that full kind of console feel with it. Um, and that's what I think this is. It is kind of an attempt to sort of make it feel a little bit more clean and polished, like what you get on a console. Uh, and that's fine for those who want it. Not personally something that I'd like to use. What about you? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is a good thing, a bad thing? Let us know. We'd love to hear your comments and feedback, so do that. And yeah, we'd just like to say thanks for watching this video, guys. Once again, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already in order to get updates about our future videos. Thanks again, everyone, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.